Thank God it's Friday. This is Vani Ocampo. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel today from John chapter 10 verses 31 to 42 is action packed. We will witness in the first three verses the rejection of Jesus by the Jews. They picked up stones to stone him because they are accusing him of blasphemy. Jesus, instead of running and hiding, went to them, he turned to them to confront them. What I found most interesting or even enlightening was the reasons Jesus gave his Jewish opponents on why they should not reject him but instead believe in him. We can find the response of Jesus from verses 34 to 38. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I have said you are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside. What about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I said I am God's son? Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But I do them even though you do not believe me. Believe the works that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I in the Father. In his reply, Jesus quoted from Psalm 82, verse 6, God said, You are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. Here in Psalm 82, the term gods is clearly applied to human beings. And this is not blasphemy because it is God himself who said, You are gods. Let me quote the reflection today from the Claritian Bible Diary for us to further understand the response of Jesus to the Jews. By receiving the word of God, we become God. Or as the mystic doctor John of the Cross repeatedly puts it, God by participation. If one is God by participation, the evidence lies in the way one lives life. We are therefore called gods to bring the responsibility we hold. We are supposed to be agents of God doing acts of kindness on God's behalf. Finally, we must believe and remember that Jesus truly is the Son of God and He is one with the Father. It was by His works and His words that He established who He is. After three years of public ministry, Jesus had done many excellent works and miracles and this had become well known throughout Israel. All this should put to rest all doubts about who Jesus really is. Sadly, my dear friends, in our present times now, many people refuse to receive Jesus and to see Christ as God. In their blind rejection, they choose to instead exert their own efforts to gain eternal life and heaven on their own. But that rejection is futile. It will not succeed. Salvation and fullness of life, fullness of joy and peace can only be experienced through Jesus Christ. If you have not accepted Jesus yet as your Lord and Savior, I invite you to give Him a chance, get to know Him, set aside time for prayer and reflection, especially that next week is already the holiest week in the year and grace is overflowing take the time to come before the lord in prayer take the time to listen to him and ask for the grace to be able to surrender your life to jesus 
once and for all with no thought of turning back. Jesus must be made the Lord and Master of everything in our life. Thank you for listening, my dear friends. If you have been blessed by the short reflection, please be a hope giver by clicking the share button so your loved ones and friends may be blessed in the same way that you were blessed by God's word today. Thank you and God bless you.